hello guys welcome to this video so in this video i will show you how to implement one tap oauth to google login system inside vue.js3 so you can see the demo on your screen we have a sign in with google button so one tap google authentication is this as i click this button a pop-up window will open here you need to select your google account and then grant the permission so once you do this your email and you can see this profile picture will also sh show and after you sub subsequent logins will be one tap so as soon as you click it it's using google identity services so we are decoding the credentials using the json web token so now to get uh, started using this i have given all the source code in the description of this video so the module is uh, view 3 google login so if you go to npmjs.com uh, just need to search for this module view 3 google login so this is actually the component here you simply search for this and i have already installed it so this is actually the command here it's almost got 17,000 weekly downloads so they have given the documentation on this website so this is you can read more about the docs I will show you in this video how to get started so first of all you need to register this module so for doing this you need to let me just step by step tell you and all the source code I have given in the description of this video so you can check out the source code by going to the description link so first of all you need to go to your main.ts file so this typescript file you need to register your module so for registering it we need to first of all import this module so we say import view 3 google login and it will be coming from this package view 3 google login so we simply import this package and write this is 504 kilobytes and then we use this register it component and pass an object which actually holds your client id so this client id will be coming from google cloud console so you need to create an account here and just go to here create credentials o auth client id and select from application type is web application and in the authorized javascript origins you need to add the home page of your application so http localhost 5173 so this is actually your home page and also in the redirect uri i forgot to mention so here in authorized javascript origins you add your home page and then in the authorize redirect URI, you also add the same URL, your home page. And there, here also you do need to add the localhost version as well. So the localhost plus the port number and then the HTTP localhost, if you are developing it on localhost. And then in the authorize redirect URI, same URL plus the port number. So click on save and then it will create your client id so simply copy this and uh, paste the client id so that's all that we need to do and now just move to app.view and one more package we will need here for this for it will return json web token for decoding that we need this package jwt decode so just install this package as well installing this so almost got 7 million weekly downloads so right inside your app.view file so you'll be having this template and also we will be writing the typescript code in the script tab so we'll rendering this google login button by using this component and we'll bind this callback url so we need to configure this function uh, variable callback url inside the script so we go to the typescript code here we require the necessary packages and then we import the jwt decode which will be coming from 
JW to decode. So and after this we declare the user profile variable by default it will be null so here we will be storing the profile information of, of the user once they successfully log in with their google account and now we just need to display this callback url that we are passing to this google login component so right here we define this function it's actually a function not a variable so it's a callback function so once you are authenticated this callback function will execute so here it will be holding the response here the response coming i can just console log it just to check so if you refresh your application So you will see this uh, automatically it will detect your Google account and uh, the profile picture and account name will be showing. So once you just click this with one tap the details will be returned here and the console log response here. I think you need to paste this JavaScript code before this so the template will come so I think that is the problem here that's why it was not oh sorry we haven't added this attribute setup so that was a problem so just add this setup parameter to the script so now as I click the button So you see this object will be returned to us which is the client id and this credential so this is your J jwt json web token and we need to decode this json web token with this module so what we do inside this callback function so we simply check that if the response contains this credential property if it is containing that then we need to decode that so we use this module which is JWT decode it contains a function which is decode and we decode this credential and then it will return the profile information so we can simply set the profile information like this user profile value and this is your object the name which will be decoded dot name and then the email will also come so we can I can just console log this and lastly your profile picture as well so so, so if I click this button right here So it is saying that JWT decode is not a function. Uh, JWT decode, sorry, this doesn't you need to directly pass this. We are directly using it. So, so just make that change again. Run this. So, so now you will see uh, the user profile information which will be returned to us the name this is your username this is the email address this is your picture and in this way now we can display this information inside the template so we will simply add a directive which is if the profile information is available to us so we if directive if the user profile object is available then we need to display the profile information which you simply say welcome user profile dot the name so it will display the username of the person and then we will display the email address which like this so inside double curly brackets so we say user profile dot 
email and then we display the profile information we can just make the picture width to be 100 percent so now if you refresh you will see automatically it will detect you are currently logged in and it will show the profile information you will see the, the username the plus the email address this picture is uh, belonging to a different domain that's why it is not displaying due to cross origin resource sharing error but you can even display the picture as well so in this way you can implement the google authentication with one tap and in behind the scenes it is using this google identity services api which is a new way of authentication in google such that in mobile devices you just need to press a key just a tap and it will automatically log you in so this is actually using that behind the scenes so if you need the full example code of this application the link is given in the description so you can get code to the website and also check out my website as well freemediatools.com uh, which contains uh, thousands of tools regarding audio video and image and i will be seeing you guys in the next video